Hey guys, what's up? It's Lore here, and for today's video, I am back with another editing tutorial because my last one had a lot of good feedback and people were asking me to do more. So, for today's tutorial, I know last time I did a basic overview of everything that I normally do when I edit. This one's going to be super quick and super easy. I'm just going to show you how to get a super smooth zoom transition. I'm starting off with two clips. There's nothing much to them, just two clips. And they're each about a second long-ish. So, what you first want to start by doing is going to the Effects and Presets menu and searching up Motion Tile. And then just putting that on both of your clips. Only change the output width and the output height. I'll just do like 400 for each. That's a pretty good number. And then click mirror edges. And then I'll do the same for this clip. Put motion tile. Set both of these to 400. You can go more if you want it to be a further zoom. But um, this will be fine. Okay, so now that we have motion tile on both of our clips, we're going to enable the motion blur so just click this little icon with the circles and then check the boxes for each clip and this will just add to that smooth effect um, so yeah okay now we're ready to start using keyframes so for the first clip I'm going to highlight it and press the letter S on my keyboard um, so then the scale option pops up and then with my cursor about to the beginning of the clip I'm going to click this little stopwatch and I'm going to drag this to the end of my clip and zoom it in. Just drag the numbers. So I'm going in pretty far, but it won't look that way once I actually make the transition. So yeah, it's pretty easy. That's what you do so far. And then to add to the smoothness to make it way smoother, I take the second keyframe right here and I drag it out one. And then we're going to highlight our keyframes and click F9 and then we're going to go into the graph editor which is this icon right here you just click it and then click one of the dots on the end of the line so these little handles show up and since we're doing a zoom in you want it to kind of start by sloping up and then have a really steep slope at the end of the clip so just make your graph look like mine and as you can see it creates the nice zoom effect so that's the first half of it, now we have to do the other half. So I'm clicking the second clip now. And you click S for scale. So you click the little stopwatch and then you zoom it out like this. And then you drag this out and you set it back to 100, which is just normal. Drag the keyframe out one unit further than you did originally. And like I said, this will just make it way smoother because the keyframes will blend together so then you click F9 for um, the easy ease thing to enable, and then you go into the graph editor. Click the handles, and then since we want it to go fast into slow, we make the slope really steep here and then have it kind of level off. So just make your graph look like mine. And then as you can see, it creates the zoom effect. So yeah. That is pretty much it. That is how you do a really smooth zoom transition. If you want to zoom out, you just do the opposite of what I did. Um, and for any other transition, if you use the trick where you move the keyframes out, then I promise you the transition will become so much smoother and it's great. So if this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any more tutorials that you'd like me to do in the future. All right, guys, that's it. See ya.